It looks great. Historically, is an eye level razor. It got great reviews and I had an amazing feeling after the first run. Will the running time metrics confirm our first impressions? Let's find out. How's it going guys? Uh, welcome back to the channel with a new video about the uh, Takumi Sen8. In the last video you have seen the first impression after the first run. If you have missed it, you can find the link up here. I had great impressions after the first run and I believe that the shoe is made for running uh, fast and for short distance race. In today's video we're gonna have a look on the running dynamic metrics, the average ground contact time and the vertical oscillation ratio uh, to check and confirm our uh, first impressions. So I will split the video in three different sections, so you can find the links in the description below in case you want to skip one. First section is just a recap about what is the ground contact time and the vertical oscillation ratio. The second one is an overview of the data collected and a comparison, a quick comparison with other three models, the new Adios 6, the, um, Zoom, the Nike Zoom 5.4 and the Adios Pro 2. And finally, in the last section, we will check if uh, our data confirms somehow our impressions. But before to start, if you usually watch my video and you are not yet subscribed, uh, then or you want to watch more, uh, then uh, please don't forget to subscribe by clicking the button here below. If you want to know more inside about the shoes, you can follow me in Strava, uh, Instagram and Facebook. You can find all the links in the description below. Have you signed it up? What are you waiting for? I can't wait so long. Let's get started. Let's start with a quick recap about uh, the running dynamic matrix uh, using the HRM uh, chest strap from Garmin or the StridePod or uh, uh, other devices you can collect tons of uh, um, analytics and running dynamic matrix. Uh, for instance, uh, you can collect the ground contact time, uh, the vertical oscillation ratio, uh, the ground contact time balance, uh, the stripe length uh, and so on. If you want to have an overview about all these metrics, I made a video, you can find the uh, video in the link up here. For today, we will just talk about uh, the uh, average ground contact time and the vertical oscillation ratio, uh, which are basically the metrics that we have collected in this test. The ground contact time is the length of, of the time your foot is in contact with the, uh, the ground when running. For most runners, a ground contact time between 200 milliseconds and 300 milliseconds uh, is uh, uh, normal. Elite distance runners uh, are capable of uh, sub 200 milliseconds uh, ground contact time. Training specifically to reduce your ground contact time is the most efficient way um, to improve your running. Uh, of course, the shoe can contribute on it more or less. The vertical oscillation ratio is uh, a measurement of vertical oscillation divided by your stride length, uh, then expressed as a uh, percent. Stride length is the horizontal movement, uh, whereas the vertical oscillation is one of the costs uh, of running, therefore low vertical numbers uh, indicates a small cost uh, for a large benefit. The lower the vertical ratio, the more efficient you're running. Now that we have seen and clarified the running dynamic matrix, uh, let's move to the next section about uh, the data collected. I used the uh, uh, Garmin HRM strap to collect the matrix uh, at seven different running pace. Uh, as you can see here in the table, uh, I considered the average values uh, for the ground contact time, uh, but also for the vertical oscillation ratio uh, for each different uh, test. If we plot the values in the chart for each test, uh, we can see immediately that uh, the ground contact time, uh, the blue line, uh, decrease increasing the pace. And for the Takumi shoes, that happens uh, um, immediately after the test number four, that is four minutes per kilometer pace. This is the normal trend that I've seen in all the other shoes I've tested uh, so far, uh, but not all the shoes uh, got the same values at the same pace, uh, and uh, I have to say that Takumi in this regard is not bad at all. In terms of vertical oscillation ratio, uh, the yellow line, uh, there is a peak for test number three, 
uh, similar to other shoes and the trend decreases uh, till a really good value um, for the test number seven which is also the best pace within the seven test i didn't run faster looking quickly to the other shoes uh, we can notice immediately that the trends are similar uh, but the values are slightly different uh, and um, also the best pace are different for each shoe considering the data that we have collected so far let's move to the last section uh, and um, checking uh, if uh, our impression are somehow confirmed for the ground counter time, the Takumi Sen8 um, is bad compared to other shoes um, if we run slower than 4 minutes per kilometer uh, pace, but better and similar to the Adios Pro 2 um, if we run faster than uh, this pace. The vertical oscillation ratio on the other end it looks uh, pretty good in comparison with all uh, the other shoes. So basically yes, we can say that uh, the first impressions are confirmed uh, um, according to the data that we have collected so far. The shoe is better for fast pace, but honestly, I didn't feel so bad uh, uh, at slow pace. And I'm even more convinced than before that the shoe can be used for uh, um, efficient runner uh, for long distance race. Due to the lower vertical oscillation ratio, the shoe is pretty efficient, so the lifestyle form uh, uh, seems to be a uh, great form. So guys, this is it for today. I hope you like this content. Don't forget to leave a like and uh, to subscribe. As usual, thanks for watching. Keep running and till the next one. See you. But before to start, if you usually watch my video and you are not yet subscribed and you want to watch more or you want to watch more...